How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video here. In today's video, we're going to talk about your Face ID is no longer working with your iPhone 13 Pro Max and your iPhone 13 mini with iOS 15. Now, ever since the Apple introduced the Face ID, it became one of the popular features out there. But if you see your Face ID is not working, then you can be in trouble in many ways. Well, after doing a little research in online, we came across a lot of people saying their Face ID is not available, they're unable to set up their Face ID, and also says it keeps saying move upper and lower, and also their Face ID get disabled. So no matter what problem you're getting right now, don't worry, let's go ahead and fix it together. Now, to solve the problem, the very first option that we want you to take a look at is your True Depth camera. The problem mainly happens for a faulty True Depth camera. Now, on our iPhone, the first things we're going to recommend you to do, just go ahead and swipe down from the top and tap and hold your uh, brightness slider and then make sure to turn on your true tone features over here and now you have to just turn off all the light around you. Well, if you see when your brightness is, let's say, completely dark here and if your iPhone goes black, just like that and if your brightness slider gets down automatically, then you can be pretty sure there's nothing wrong with your true depth camera. And also, the next things you can do, just go ahead and just turn on the light and see if the brightness slider goes up or not. Well, the next things we're going to talk about is the dust and particles. Now, if you see that your sensor is containing, let's say, a little bit of dust around it, then this issue can happen. Now, the first and foremost things we want you to tell you from here, go ahead and grab a cloth just like that and try to clean that true depth camera on top of your phone right here. And if you see, well, now it's working, congratulations to you. But if you see it's not working over there, then the next things you got to do, you need to take out your screen protector out of your iPhone 13 Pro Max or your iPhone 13 mini. Remember, I will find a lot of people that who just got the problem right after when they just placed an unmatched uh, screen protector on their iPhone. Well, after removing your screen protector, hopefully your problem will be solved. But if you still experience the same problem, the next things we're going to talk about is resetting your Face ID. Now, to do it, you have to tap your settings. Now, scroll down here and tap on your Face ID and the passcode. Go ahead and put your passcode over here and then scroll down here and just reset your Face ID right away. Go ahead and tap on there and afterward, your Face ID will be resetted. The next things you gotta do, just get out of here, press that volume up button and down button and quickly press and hold your power button. And keep that in holding unless you see the Apple logo reappears on your iPhone. Well, now to set this up your uh, Face ID once again, you have to head over to your settings, scroll down here and tap on your Face ID passcode, put your passcode right here. And now, before you just set up your Face ID, there's one thing we want to tell you here. Make sure to turn on the attention and attention hour features for your iPhone. And right after that, go ahead and toggle it on here and just tap Get Started and set up your Face ID. Now, go ahead and tap Done. Now, your problem should be solved. Now, if you see you got a still the same problem here, there's the last two things that you can literally do on your iPhone 13 Pro Max and your iPhone 13 Mini. The first one is, you need to turn off the restriction for a safety purpose. Sometimes this can cause the issue. Now, if you want to do it, tap on your setting, scroll down here, tap on your screen time here. Now, go ahead and tap your content and privacy restriction, open this up, and now you have to turn this off to solve your problem. Now, even before you say anything else, now, if you still got the same problem here, the last things we're going to tell you to do, just go ahead and give it a reset all settings on your iPhone 13 Pro Max or your iPhone 13 mini in order to solve your problem once for and all. Now, if you type your settings and head over to your general and then scroll down all the way to your transfer and reset iPhone here and tap reset, and now you got to choose to fresh on. Well, don't worry, this is not going to, you know, remove anything, like any content you might have on your iPhone, but it will, however, you know, delete all these customized settings that you have changed so far. Tap Reset All Settings twice, and now your iPhone is going to take a clean restart. Well, after giving your Reset All Settings on your iPhone 13 Pro Max or your iPhone 13 Mini, go ahead and open up your settings and head over to your Face ID and Passcode, and now you have to set this up all over again. 
Now, even after resetting your Face ID on your iPhone 13 Pro Max or your iPhone 13 Mini, if you see nothing changes, that definitely means you got a problem with the hardware. Now, of course, to solve the hardware related issue, you got to take your iPhone 13 Pro Max or iPhone 13s to the Apple Care to solve the problem. Hope you find this video useful. If you think so, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.